I'm Brenda Quintana coming to you from the Beehive. Today I'm going to show you how to make this darling little note card. And the cool thing about this note card is it takes no time at all to make. It's a really quick card. And we are going to be using the Bountiful Border Stamp Set, which in the catalog you may not really notice at first, but I really, really like this set and I'll be doing more with it in the future. And we're also going to be using the One Big Meaning Stamp Set, which has a whole bunch of different thank you greetings, all different shapes and sizes. And this is gonna be a really useful set too. So let's get started and let me show you how to make this card. To start off with, you're going to need a package of Whisper White note cards and envelopes. And if you don't have a note card, you can make one by cutting a piece of cardstock to seven inches by five inches, and then scoring in half at the three and a half inch mark. And we're gonna be using this card horizontally. And I'm going to need my Cucumber Crush ink pad, and I'm going to be needing the long stem piece from the Bountiful Border stamp set. And so I'm just gonna open that up, and let me go ahead and ink up my stem. And I'm going to put it over here on the right side of my card. And this particular stem doesn't have any flowers that go above the top leaf, so you don't have to worry about going too high. I'm gonna put it about a quarter inch down from the top, and the edge of the stamp would probably be about half an inch from the side, like that. And then, we're going to take the Marina Mist ink pad, open it up, and these are the matching flowers. And let me just show you real quick. So it's this stamp right here with all these kind of scattered blossoms that matches this one right here. So let me ink this up in Marina Mist. And the one thing with these blossoms is that they hover a, just a, they leave a little bit of white space beside the green flower base that they're, that they're set upon. So when you're hovering over your green stem, just make sure they all have a little white space in between. And when you're happy, go ahead and stamp down. Isn't that cool? And then we're going to take the thanks kindly from the One Big Meaning stamp set. And I'm also going to Ink this up in Marina Mist, and you'll notice your Thanks Kindly kind of has a little dip on the one corner, and we're going to put that dip right here with this blossom right here. So we're gonna kind of line it up and stick it down right about there. Okay, and then we're going to take some Marina Mist ribbon, and Stampin' Up! Ribbon's great because they've taken all the work out of matching for you. This ribbon matches Marina Mist exactly. So all you have to do is get the matching ribbon and you'll know you'll have perfect color co coordination each time. And we're just going to wrap this around the card down at the bottom. And I like to do left over right. And I'm gonna bring this down, make sure that it's even, okay? And then I'm going to do right over left, kind of using my finger to pin down the knot, and then bring the loop through, and just kind of knot it like that, okay? And then we're going to take our scissors and we're just going to cut off the end, the ends like that. Okay, and then you can just arrange it a little bit a little lower so that it comes in kind of a little nicer like that. And then you'll just need your bone folder to fold the card like this. And that's all there is to it. And you can make this card in many different colors because we've got lots of different colors of matching cotton ribbons. So I made this card in pumpkin pie. I made it in melon mambo. 
and rich raspberry and daffodil delight. Aren't those colors pretty? And wouldn't that make a really um, great note card set to give as a gift? All the supplies you'll need to make these darling note cards are available for purchase on my blog. I hope you've enjoyed this tutorial. Bye for now.